This is rich, y'all. So this is in Mediaite. We have some new leaks from the Fox News Dominion lawsuit, and they are just as juicy as the previous ones. So they say any and all Biden policies should be labeled socialism. Four new revelations from Fox News Dominion lawsuit. It is amazing how immensely dishonest these people are. More Dominion voting systems slides used during a recent court hearing in the voting company's $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News were made public on Friday. The Dominion lawsuit has pulled back the curtain on the inner workings of Fox News, particularly focused on the 2020 presidential election and internal discussions among hosts and executives denouncing former President Donald Trump's election fraud allegations, which were given a platform on air. Executives at all levels of Fox, both Fox News Network and Fox Corporation, knowingly opened Fox's airwaves to false conspiracy theories about Dominion. Dominion wrote in a recently unsealed filing, a five-week trial is currently scheduled to begin on April 17th. Fox News continues to, f- to fight the lawsuit in court and has claimed these documents once again demonstrate Dominion's continued reliance on cherry-picked quotes without context to generate headlines in order to distract from the facts of the case. Let me pause there for a second. How, in any way, shape, or form, is it, uh, is it cherry-picked or out of context when Tucker Carlson says Donald Trump is a demonic force? Unless the next sentence is, LOL, just kidding, I mean the opposite, then that is not at all out of context. And that is not at all cherry-picked, because it's a consistent theme where they were like, oh my god, this election rigging stuff is totally crazy. We know it's crazy. But what am I going to do? The audience wants me to feed them this slop, so I got to do what I got to do. No, the reality is the inner workings have been exposed, and now we know the honest truth, and they're trying to cover it up and be like, don't believe your lying eyes. The foundational right to a free press is at stake, and we will continue to fiercely advocate for the First Amendment in protecting the role of news organizations to cover the news. Look, nobody is a, a, a stauncher defender of the First Amendment and free speech and a free press than I am. But the thing that's a question in this case is whether or not you knowingly and maliciously and purposefully lied about Dominion. Because under no conception of free speech is libel or slander or defamation free speech. Now, if they can prove, you know, actual malice and um, they could prove that there was intent there then they may actually win the case. It is going to be very difficult, but if there was ever a case where perhaps they could hit that bar, it's this one. Below are four of the most newsworthy revelations in the latest round of new or redacted information released in the lawsuit. So here we go. Any and all Biden policy announcements to be labeled socialism. In an October 2020 email, Fox Corporation Senior Vice President Raj Shah wrote an email with the subject line, lengthy memo regarding Tucker Carlson, T- Tucker Carlson tonight, in which he suggested any and all Biden policy announcements be immediately labeled socialism. The right will be keen to frame a Biden presidency as a vessel for a radical left committed to enacting socialism. Framing any and all policy announcements as socialism and taken from an AOC Bernie Sanders playbook will likely animate Tucker's core audience, Shah wrote. While many pundits and observers have long criticized knee-jerk partisan attacks on the other side as lacking in substance, it is rare to see a news organization put in writing a suggestion to ignore the details of a presidential candidate's platform and, and simple dis, simply dismiss them under a political label. So I love this because we're talking about Joe Biden. Joe Biden, look at his record throughout his entire career. Look at his record. This is a guy who voted to deregulate Wall Street. This is a guy who voted for NAFTA. This is a guy who voted for the crime bill. This is a guy who voted for the Iraq War. This is a guy who voted for the Patriot Act. This is the problem with Joe Biden is that he is or was a very conservative Democrat. Now, it is true that since he got to office, he's been less conservative and I would argue more moderate. So in other words, he's to the left of Obama when Obama was president. He's to the left of Bill Clinton from when Bill Clinton was president. And that's a good thing. It's better the way he is now is better than he was when he was a conservative Democratic senator. But the idea that he's like a socialist or a hardcore lefty is laughable. He said he would veto universal health care, Medicare for all, if it came to his desk. He said he would veto it. This is a guy who said, uh, I'm not going to raise a penny of taxes on people who make less than $400,000 a year. This is a guy who just approved the Willow Project, right? Massive uh, 
oil project. So th this guy who's been tough on the border, but you can see they always say, oh, he's doing, you know, open border stuff. And they just call everything socialist. It truly is astonishing because they, kn they know they're wrong. They know it's dishonest. They don't care. This is their one trick that they go back to. It's like when people on the right are angry at people on the left for quote-unquote calling everything racist or quote-unquote calling everything fascist. Look, sometimes that criticism is merited. Sometimes it's like, yeah, maybe the left does overuse that from time to time. But they do the exact same thing on the other side, and if anything, it's worse because it's a directive from the top at their major news network. News network. Joe Biden a socialist. I wish. I wish. We'd have a higher minimum wage. We'd have free college throughout the country and all the student loan debt eliminated. We'd have universal health care. We'd have paid time off by law. We'd have so many better things, man. We really would. Lou Dobbs admitted inaccurate statements on air regarding groundbreaking new evidence of election fraud. Wow. Wow. Uh, not surprised he was one of the craziest people. So Lou Dobbs basically was like, yeah, I was wrong. I was lying. And that, that may hurt their case, by the way. Scott and Murdoch discussed post-election firings. Big message with Trump people. New emails from Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott um, to Fox Corporation Chairman Rupert Murdoch and his son Lachlan Murdoch, the CEO of Fox Corporation, revealed the thinking behind the firing of two of Fox News' key political editorial staff members who helped the network call the 2020 presidential election for Joe Biden. Fox was the first network to call Arizona for Biden, a decision that enraged the network's audience and sparked an internal crisis that Dominion argues led to Trump's false claims of a stolen election being promoted on air. Salmon was told the inevitable today. We were going to do Steyerwalt next. So, in other words, what they're saying is the people who actually did their job and gave people facts, the people who said, yeah, um, Arizona was won by Biden, the election is over, they fired those people. They fired those people. Again, what's astonishing to me is at this mega corporation, they're scared of their own shadow. They're scared of their own viewers. And they can't even just do something like state a basic fact and stand by it. If the mob is like, we don't like facts. Ah, they're like, okay, okay, fine. We'll fire the people who give you facts. <laughs> it, it is like, it is massive, massive cuck behavior. Janine Pirro refused to change an opening monologue despite a fact check. Yeah, she doesn't care. She has a narrative and she's going to hump that narrative until the cows come home. Anyway, you guys get the gist of it. Um, more proof that Fox News is a colossally dishonest network and they are audience captured. And um, it really is a sight to behold, isn't it? Because they've been number one in this category for a very, very long time. And this is the way it really works. This is the way the sausage is actually made. None of these people are honest. None of these people are principled. And... Um, it's beyond pathetic to the point where it may be criminal. I guess we'll find out very soon. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.